God said we can eat fish, so there's nothing wrong with eating fish. No, God did not say anything like that. In your eyes, in your view through the Bible, right, in your worldview, I can go and cut the head off a dog right now and eat him because I'm allowed to. What's up, brother? God said we can eat fish, so there's nothing wrong with eating fish. No, God did not say anything like that. Some of his disciples were fishermen. Yeah, okay, who? Some of Christ's disciples were fishermen. What, what did God say about eating fish? God. You mean Jesus? Yep, we're allowed to eat fish. Jesus isn't God. Yes, he is. The Bible he's the Son of God. The Bible says he's the Son of God and he's God. Okay. He says in John 1 that he's the creator of all things, so Jesus is God. Jesus is actually God. Yes, that's okay. what the Bible says. And uh, what do you think Jesus thinks about animal cruelty? What do you think Jesus thinks about animal cruelty? Jesus created all things and he said we can eat fish. Fish eat fish. Jesus and said you can eat fish. Yes. In what? Where did he say that? In the, in, the, in the Bible. In fact, ever since Noah's flood, we were allowed to eat animals. Prior to that, we couldn't. Well, well okay, nice okay. Let, let, let's talk about prior to that. The Garden of Eden. What were they eating? So they were plants in the Garden of Eden, and then and then they sinned. Sin well, came. Yep. Okay. So before sin, basically, it was a vegan Garden of Eden. And as a consequence of sin, death was came into the world. Okay. okay? That's where death came from. That's okay. where all the cruelty came from, if you like, or all the death came from was because of man's sin. Okay. That's why death came. Did uh, Jesus tell you you couldn't be vegan? <laughs> <laughs> he said we could eat fish, we can eat animals, so what's the problem? I don't remember him saying can so eat fish. I think he turned turned something into fish or created fish. Well, he actually fed 5,000 people with fish. and we... But he didn't fish for that fish, didn't he just create it out of the air? His no, his disciples were fishermen, some of them. Okay. So they had five loaves, two fish. Okay. And they fed 5,000 with that fish. and so with five that. loaves and two fish. Yeah. And you believe that they fed 5,000 people with two fish? Yes, because it was done by a okay. And this is your argument that, that Jesus... No, my argument yeah. is that God created everything. To God feel pain. God knows everything. God said we can eat fish, therefore it's fine to eat fish. You okay. don't know everything and I don't know everything. Okay. God knows everything. And because you and I don't know everything and God does know everything, we're better off going with what God says. And that is that we God never told me anything about eating fish, all right? Read the Bible. I don't care about the Bible. Who wrote the Bible? Well, the Holy Spirit is the author. Who wrote Bible. the Bible? The Holy Spirit. No, no. The Holy Spirit. You don't know whether or not I believe in God, okay? Yes. I might not believe in the human beings that wrote the Bible. If you believed in God, you would know that your argument is false because God knows okay. everything and you don't. And therefore, and God created everything and you didn't. So he said... Did God create did... the Bible? The Holy Spirit is the... Who, which, which Bible are you talking okay, about? I'll explain. Which Bible are you talking about? The New Testament? If you allow me to answer your question without interrupting me, yeah. I'll be able to answer that and yeah. explain it to you. So the, the, the Bible says that God is Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Not three gods, one God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. It's called the Trinity. The Holy Spirit, the Bible says, the Holy Spirit moved men to write the, wor the words of the Bible. I move men by my so words. So men writ the Bible so then? I men. So therefore the Bible was written by about 40 authors or so. So men, through the humans writ the Bible, so... No, but the author of the Bible, as the Bible says, the Bible itself says the author of the Bible, in other words, is the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit moved those men to write the words. Now, the reason we know that's true is because the Bible prophecy is 100% accurate. Man's prophecy, coming up with his own ideas, is not anything like that. Okay. So it must be from God. So we know the Bible must be from God because the prophecy is spot on. Okay. That's why. Now, if God is Father, Son, Holy Spirit, God created everything, including you and me, and God knows everything and you and I don't, that means God knows best and he said we can eat fish. He said we can God eat never fish. told me we can eat fish. You read it out of a book, okay? So I want to tell you what I, I want to tell you why I think it, God wouldn't want us to eat the animals on his earth, okay? If you do that, okay. you are going against what the Bible says, okay. which is God's word. When, when we feel pain and suffering, yeah? Do you think this is a good thing or a bad thing? The reason for the pain and suffering is because of sin. Okay. Sin, okay? Man sinned, that's why death was brought in as a punishment for that sin. This is why we all die, this is why we all suffer, this is why we all have okay. pain. That's Do you think it's okay for me to cause pain and suffering to a human being right now? 
Well, just without justification. Oh, without justification. No. Because you can't do that because humans are made in the image of God and fish are not. No, no, no. So humans are made in God's image. I'm not, I'm not going to fish yet. I just want to know if it's okay to do it to a human right now without justification. You are not allowed to do that because we are made in God's image and God said that you can't do that. There are ten commandments. God said we can't torture humans for no reason. No, of course you can't. You can't kill them. You can't murder them. That's one of the ten commandments. You're not now, allowed can, to can I torture a cow? A cow is not a human and it's not made in the image of so God. Can I torture a cow? They used to sacrifice cows in the Old no, 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 Testament. That's not what I asked you. Can I torture a cow without justification? That's what I want to know. You mean like the way Muslims kill cows? No, no, no. That's not, I didn't mention Muslims. Well, that's what in a do. vacuum, yeah. right now, mm. can I torture a cow? Of course not. In Why your opinion. Why would you torture no, no. one? Did God tell do you I can't torture a cow? It doesn't say torture, but you are allowed to I, kill I just want to, I just want to, no, 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 I just want to know. But the Bible doesn't say torture. I, I'm not talking about that. I'm asking you, me and you right now, is it okay if I torture a cow without justification? No. Why would you do it? Did God say I can't? <laughs> yeah, look, he said you can kill see, a cow. See how you're going from your conscience to God and back? Did God say I can't torture a cow? No, he didn't. So therefore, didn't, you... so therefore I can. Okay, you can if you like, but this. No, no, okay. So it's fine in your worldview because God didn't say it to, for me to torture a cow. See how you're going from your conscience, I'll, I'll your own morality, and God. You, you're, you're confused. I'll stick with, I'm not confused. I'll stick with what you're saying. The, so because the Bible doesn't say not to torture a cow, yes, go ahead and torture one. Okay. There will be no penalty okay. for it. That's true. Okay. There will so no what, would you have a moral issue right now? You could say you wouldn't. That's fine. Would you have a moral issue with me torturing a cow right now without justification in front of you? And I mean burning them with a hot iron in the eyeballs, cutting their ears off, but really torturing them in front of you and they're begging me to stop. Would you have a problem with that? Okay, put it this way. If you did such a thing, the reason I would say that's an awful thing to do is because I have a moral basis. Where's my moral basis for saying that's bad? That's coming from the Bible. My moral basis is coming because God created me. There's a creator. Okay. The person who doesn't believe in the God has no moral basis Can to I, say that's right. Hang on. No, okay, I'll let you finish he, has, Go ahead. he has no moral basis to say that that is right or wrong or good or bad or hot or cold or anything else. So the only reason that I can say it's bad is because of my moral basis. But a person without a moral basis, because they believe in evolution, for example, that there's no God, has no moral reason to say anything's good or bad. So he's got no argument to say that torturing a cow is bad or good. So I can say it's bad because I've got that moral basis. That's why. But the guys who are atheists, let's say, have no moral basis to say anything's good or bad. None. What I think, right, what I believe, is that when you see someone torturing an animal, even though they're not made in God's image like you say, um, that when you feel that that's wrong in your heart, that that's God telling you that it's wrong. Because if God created us, okay, and we all have a conscience, yep. if you see an animal suffering, all right, and take that book away and give you what God gave you, which is your conscience, yes, all right? Because everyone looks to this book. If you, you're, you're created by God. Do you believe that, yes. all right? Yep. Now, I'm not going to tell you that's false, mm. but when you see me torture an animal yep. and you get that feeling in your heart like that's wrong, yes. that's God speaking to you. Sure. Okay, now if I were to torture a chicken to yes. death, yes. Now, now fact, I don't know if you know much, I'm an animal rights activist now for nearly eight years, <laughs> factory farming is horrible. Across the board, right. slaughterhouses where happy animals go to get slaughtered are horrible. Stunning vault, stunning, blood on the floor, guts everywhere. And when I see that, and maybe you too, if I took you in there and you can watch these animals try to escape the knockbox box when they're getting let in, your conscience will tell you this is a murder factory. Do you think there are slaughterhouses in heaven? It's not a murder factory because it's not murdering humans. If it was murdering uh, humans, murder, slaughter factory. Okay, but I think it's, it's murder. Slaughtering. It is slaughter factory. Yeah, slaughtering factory. Okay. So there is. So death will stay with us until the second coming, until Christ returns. In fact, even after that, when um, Christ returns, there's a period called the millennium, a thousand years of peace on earth. After that, the earth's finished. From then on, there is no more death. Death gets swallowed up in victory. In the end, there's no death. But until that happens, until all that, ju till God's judgment falls, there will be continuing death. Now, death is a bad thing. It's an enemy. The Bible describes death as an enemy. It's something that's wrong. It's because the creation has been corrupted, perverted, it's wrong, it's okay. because of sin. When sin is finally dealt with and judged by God at the end, that's when death's swallowed up and there will be no more death, including animals. But, but until right then, now, until right then, now, you still yeah. wouldn't go and torture animals, right? Even though you believe well, this prophecy? I, right now, I, like you've got a choice right now yeah. to boycott to stop your contribution to the torture and murder of animals. I yeah. torture one, and you're using the word torture as in, Well, they are tortured. They are tortured I, a lot. I would shoot one and eat it. 
too. Absolutely. Even if you didn't need to. And, and I would. Like, even if you didn't need to, like not if you, I, I would shoot an animal too. I would shoot if I had to. I would shoot someone who was trying to kill my family if I had to. But I'm talking about you don't need to. Would you still do it? I think I would because I know I'm allowed to. So I, for example, I would catch a fish and I would eat it, no problem. Okay. Uh, I would have the. Um, because I, I've, I've got God's permission to do that. You wouldn't torture a cow though, even though you're, you're technically allowed to. No, if, if you're using the word torture versus kill. I, so I'm just saying you're allowed to, I'm technically allowed to torture a cow because he didn't, because there's no, there's no grey writing on those white pages that said I shouldn't. I would, it's, I would suggest that if you tortured one rather than kill one to eat one or kill what one you, what would you think about me? to sacrifice. Do you think it's a bit needless? One, Do you think it's needless? One question at a time. I haven't even answered your question. Did you ask another one? And you bombard with another one. Because you're not another directing one. these questions. You're not being direct with the answer. You're, being, you're bouncing around them. I'm, I'm giving you the basis for the answer so I can try and put it together for yeah. you. Okay, that's why. So you've used the word torture and I understand that. And you said the torture of a cow and it's trying to get away and that's different from, trying to find out your morality, yeah, that's why. Yeah. That's different from me, let's say, killing a cow to eat it and, and cook it, which I, we know in the Bible we're allowed to do. So but we won't be allowed to do that once the Lord returns, that is true. Why are you waiting till the Lord returns to be ethical? I'm not, because it's ethical. Why don't you live now like they did in the Garden of Eden? Because I can't, because of sin. I'm born sinner you, and you're you, born sinner. You're saying you don't have choice right now to choice. do whatever you want. You don't have free will? We have choice. So why, what do you mean you can't not eat animals, you can't not kill no, animals? I don't not want to do that. I'm happy to eat animals. because so You I'm, have a desire I'm happy to, to, eat them. to kill the animals. I'm happy to eat them because I'm desire. allowed to, because God's given me that permission. I'm happy to torture animals because I'm allowed to, because God technically hasn't said I can't. So, so now you're saying the word torture again. So no, tor I'm talking about the actual act of torturing so, an animal. So if I would, which is different from killing the animal to eat it. Will you pay for your meat at the butcher, yeah? Yes. Have you, do you eat pigs? Yes. Okay, they get tortured in gas chambers, that's how they kill them. Well, not necessarily. They um, do, 100%. The, the, most of the animal, most of the pigs here are killed in gas chambers. Right, the, the pigs that I eat, that my brother raises them in his own farm, he actually... You, you know, don't eat bacon anywhere else? Them. So you don't go to a restaurant no, and eat bacon? Sometimes. They're gas chamber tortured pigs. Okay. So, not not all, all pigs, but his pigs, he just has them. The vast majority of pigs in Australia are gas chamber. And, uh, Where does he take them to? The abattoir? No, he does it on his farm. Okay. Yeah. So he shoots so, him in the skull? Not a sh No, he doesn't shoot him. And what about the chickens that you eat? Do you yes. go out and you get a chicken sandwich or whatever, ham sandwich? Yes. Okay, they're, but, they're tortured factory but, farmed animals. But when I kill chickens, I, I kill them by t cutting their heads off. Okay. okay, so I do it that way. And then I'll um, yeah, take the feathers off. I think that that's uh, evil. Well, God doesn't. You do. You think something. So the Bible says that man... You think me torturing a cow is evil. The way you looked at me was like, that's... That's wrong. And I'm like, well, wait, why would it be wrong? God tells you everything, doesn't he? Not you're, your conscience. You're using the word torture instead of, which is, and, and you're trying to marry that into no, the not. word kill. Absolutely not. Like killing Absolutely not. When you pay for animal products from the or, store, yeah. you're 100% paying for torture. Okay. I've been an animal rights activist for long enough. All right? like, it's like me trying to tell you about the Bible. You're an expert on the Bible. I'm an expert on animal rights. I know what happens in farms and abattoirs. You don't, right? You're 100% paying for torture when you get a, a ham sandwich. You and I are going to face God on Judgment Day one day. That's the, the situation. Yeah. We're going to go by God's laws, not ours. Not not even yours. Not the animal activist laws. It's going to be by God's laws, not ours. So he's going to say, he's going to ask for a justification for everything you thought, said and did. Yeah. Okay? And when you can't answer according to his laws, yeah. you're the one who's guilty, same as I will be. I'll say, That's I'll, the you problem. Know what I'll say to God? I say I did my best not to cause suffering to those who couldn't speak up for themselves. And, and he will say you were allowed to eat animals. He will say that. So you had something over and above what I said. That's what he's going to say. You're not going to be able to get by that. Okay. Now it's one thing to be cruel to an animal, but it's another thing to kill animals for food. That's totally different. You thing. don't need to. It's needless. And in the Old Testament. It's need, do you agree that eating animals is needless? I, I don't agree. Why not? Well, you, do, you, do you need to eat animals to survive right now? Pretty much. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Okay. Now, there's something called genetic entropy. That means we're all decaying over time. We're getting worse and worse with time. Adam and Eve were perfect genetically ever since... They were in a vegan, that's why they were in a vegan world. It wasn't that, it's because their DNA... Garden of vegan. No, it's not that. You're interrupting all the time. Sorry. They were created perfect. That means their genetics, their DNA was also perfect. That means they had no genetic decay. Yeah. Genetic decay has gone on ever since. So every generation gets more and more genetically messed up. Oh, really? You, you think it's bad. really, really? So you're saying so from Adam and Eve? Genetically, we're getting better. 
Well, well maybe, well, okay. well, have we ever stopped eating animals? Okay, here we go. Genetically, we are decaying with time. That's proven. That's, there's nothing you can do about that. Okay. That, okay, that's called entropy or second law of thermodynamics, and DNA causes everything. So what, see, I'm, I know I have all, I have all night with you here. Yeah. What is has eating tortured animal bodies got to do with genetic decay? In the Old Testament, after... So you're talking about science, and then you're bringing in the Testament. So what are you, a scientist? I thought science was evil. Are you, are you religious? Am I allowed to answer any questions without being interrupted? But you're going from science. I am a scientist. Are you a scientist and who's... And a believe... Am I allowed to be both? You, you could. You can, oh, but they thanks. contradict each other, science and Christianity. Oh, is that right? Evolution and Christianity. Evolution does, but evolution, my friend, unfortunately, does not stack up with the science. Evolution says everything made itself by okay. pure accident, by pure fluke, that there was no designer. If evolution's true and there is no designer, okay. there's no God, that means there's no moral basis, which means everything you do is, uh, you don't know if it's right or wrong, it means your brain. No, I do, because right. I've got a conscience. But, and God, God. Ah, all right, so God gave me my conscience, yeah? And when I see true. an animal get their head cut off, I say, wow, that's wrong. Maybe God doesn't want me to do it. If you have a conscience... But you think cutting a chicken's head off is fine. Let me finish. You know? If you have a conscience, therefore you said that there's a God who created you. That means you must say that evolution is not true. I never said anything. I'm not debating with you. I said you're using science to, to prove genetic decay, and then you're going to the Old Testament, which justifies slavery in it. So it's a really old, outdated book. But, but I'm just saying you're contradicting yourself using science and God. It's either one or the other. You no, can't, no it isn't. It isn't. Okay. This is where you've fallen into a trap. You're thinking that evolution is science. It isn't. Evolution is the science of one religion called atheism, and creation is the science of another religion called Christianity. Okay. They're completely Can opposite. I ask you one thing about God? Why did God create animals so that they feel pain, they feel fear when they're about to be killed, and they don't want to die, but also put them here as our food? When he also put plant foods here that don't feel pain and suffer and want to, don't want to die and bleed blood red. You want to know the answer without interrupting yeah. me? Go on then. Okay. In the beginning, God created the world perfectly. Animals were here. Everything was perfect. There was no death. Okay. Adam and Eve sinned. That's when death entered the world, including the destruction of all creation, including animals. They suffered too, even though they didn't even do anything wrong, including things like the stars blowing up and disintegrating okay. and messing up and everything degenerating, including DNA, like I described. Everything goes downhill ever since Adam and Eve sinned. So now you so, can murder animals so, and now we can torture so what, animals. So what God created yeah. and what it is today is very different. God created so, a perfect so, so world. So wait a second, why don't we go back to the way God created it and just all be vegan, eat plants and leave the animals alone because it's not possible and the reason is because everybody it's possible for what you do I'm talking, I don't care about everyone I care about you right now right, me. you can make a choice right now and to so go back to the way I do can, I do can, every single day you can make the choice to I do right God. I do I you do every single choice well I, I obey my conscience wow. I obey my conscience you can, and I, I do what is right I'll just say the same to you you could you can make the choice to follow Christ just like that now you could do that I follow my conscience and that. my conscience tells me don't cut off little birds heads they can't defend themselves that's bully behavior and, you, and you're still going to face God on judgment day which is yeah, far so more were important you. Than, yeah I know and, so were you, and I feel more comfortable facing God saying hey you know what I didn't contribute to the animal holocaust while I was here I tried my best to end it and I tried my best to talk to your messengers and tell them to stop cutting off animals heads and he will say all the sins you've ever done still must be paid for and you can't yeah. pay for it. I've committed a lot of sins, and trust you, me. I, Probably I, more than you, maybe. And, 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 I and, I, and I have too. The problem we have, more so than just worrying about animals, the problem we have is we're going to face judgment day mm -hmm. and the only way out of paying for our sins, which is hell forever, is Christ. That's the only way out of it. Yeah. Without Christ, we're screwed. We can't pay for our own sins. All of us are sinners. We're all in the same boat. We're all shagged. That's why we can't, can't go back to so Eden. So because we're all sinners, it doesn't matter what we do from this point on. With well, I could literally go out and mass shoot everyone here. I could kill all the torture, all the animals I want. Until I, I could do all that right now. I'm, I, you know, it's fine. But until I follow Christ, I'm, I am no, I'm still going to be a sinner no matter what I do. Yes. Because we're all sinners, we can't go back to Eden. You said, why can't we go back to Eden? And that's the reason. He's talking about your personal life, you all don't have to. All of us yeah. are in the same boat, we're all sinners, and that's why we can't go back to Eden. No, no way. Now, whatever we do, we'll be judged by God. If you want to go and shoot everybody, like you just said, like you just described, that's going to end up... We're already a sinner, so what's the, what's the point? Well, correct. You, you're, yeah. you're doomed. So torture whatever, whoever I want. Don't worry about my conscience and my own morality. Like, I'm already a sinner, so... Yeah. That's not how I live. I'd, I'd prefer to use my conscience and go, yeah. wait, that's wrong. Yeah. That animal's terrified. I don't want to kill them. Yeah. You know, this guy here, you know, I don't want to hurt him or see someone hurt him. I'm going to protect him. You know, that's how I live my life, like here from my heart. The, the, 
Bible says that man, without Christ, man will do what's right in his own eyes. What you're doing is what's right in your own eyes, but it's not what's right in God's eyes. This is why the whole creation has decayed. Even animals kill animals. Fish eat fish. They're nasty. Tooth, uh, nature red in tooth and claw. It's bad. It wasn't yeah, I don't act like they do. I don't act like that. But animals are doing this. So, so it's, yeah, no, we're no, looking I at try a, not to act like they do. But, but they are. And what we're saying here is that we're looking at a fallen world, a fallen creation, a, a corrupted creation. The creation was perfect in the beginning. Man's sin, that's why it's corrupt. That's why you can't go back to Eden. But you're saying you don't have any personal responsibility for what you do now? I have personal responsibility for any if everything's f***ed and it's fallen oh my god everyone's eating each other and killing each other like you still have personal responsibility to make ethical choices yeah can i i'll see if i can answer because you interrupt me again i have the personal responsibility for the sins that i commit personally absolutely okay, okay? and i have to face god judgment on that absolutely why will I go to heaven? Not because I'm a good guy. I'm not a good guy. I'm a sinner, just like everyone else. The only reason I'll go to heaven is because of Christ. That's the only reason. He's paid for it. Has Christ paid for your sins? Go to him in prayer and, and, and seek him with, your, with all your heart, soul, mind and strength like you do with this. And seek him with everything. Christ is returning very soon. There's not much time to go. And the only way to actually get out of this mess and, and into, into eternity with heaven without cruelty to animals, without death at all, is Christ and Christ alone. Other than that, there is no chance, none. Man is way too wicked to get this sorted. It's never going to happen. Can I offer you a Bible? Can I, no, I won't, I won't read it. I don't read books written by men. I read the, the book written in my heart. And uh, if you believe God created me, I'm following my conscience. And if you believe that's God given, then it's wiser than any book you can hand me. You know how many times that book's been adulterated by human beings? None. None? It's, it's perfect. Not, it's perfect. I've got lots of different English variations, or versions, I should say, versions. No, no, no. About it's about 20-something versions. We're 2021. When was the first Bible written? When was it first written? When you look at... Through the hands of how many the, human beings has it been? At the Dead Sea Scrolls, when they were dragged out, that was yeah. shortly after Jesus' time. Well, it's 2,000 years old, yeah? And, and comparing the Dead Sea Scrolls with the Scriptures today is the same. So it hasn't been corrupted. The, the New most, Testament is the same as the Dead Sea Scrolls? The Dead Sea Scrolls Old Testament, right? That's Old Testament. That's uh, uh, Isaiah, for example, yeah, yeah. the prophet Isaiah. So when you look at that, that's the same. It hasn't been changed. I won't read a Bible. Too many humans have it's not corrupted. touched it. It's not corrupted. Yeah. No. Yeah, I don't, I don't trust. Yeah. I don't trust it. Yeah. I mean, I'll listen to you and what you have to tell me from your heart. I won't read a book, right? It's been written by man, all right? No, if God wants to speak to me, then He come and speak to me. Well, would you at least look at the prophecies because they're one hundred percent accurate? Now, man can't get prophecies one hundred. If it's written by a man's hand, I don't want to read it. I can't trust men. Can't trust humans. They're all. Well, all I can there's see. there's a lot of scumbag humans who want bad for the world and bad for the animals. All right, so it's yes. hard for me to trust people. Yeah. Like people like yourself, you come across like a nice guy, and then you're telling me you're cutting animals' heads off. You know what I mean? So that, then I come. Like, Why would you do that? In the Old Testament, actually, the Bible says there's without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins, and that's why they sacrificed animals in the Old Testament. We don't have to do that in the New Testament times. That you is don't true. Have to do that right now. No, because Christ. You could died. sacrifice sacrifice your time, because sacrifice the, heaps the of things, your money. Sacrificing of animals was to pay for sin. Which we don't have to do now because Christ died for sinners, and therefore. Okay, so that, why are you doing it? And therefore that shed has. So not, you you not, don't have to I'm do not, it. I'm not eating animals for sin. I'm eating, eating, eating because you want to. Because you're allowed to. Yes. Because the Bible. Because the Bible says, says you're allowed to. Yes, the Bible right. says I'm allowed to torture a cow too. It does not. It does well, it didn't. It didn't explicitly say I don't. I can't. Didn't explicitly say I can't. It doesn't explicitly say you can't paint your face green either. I mean, come okay. on. It's so there you go. <laughs> so well, it's not a sin, so I might as well do it. So you got it. You actually got to listen to this as well. You're not just a book, you actually got to listen to this. I, I do listen to this, yeah. but man will do what is right in his own eyes if he doesn't know who the Lord is. It's if not eyes, it's here. This isn't my eyes. If you don't know God, if you don't know Christ, then this is why the scriptures say that... How do you know I don't man, know Christ? Who's Christ? How do you know, how do you know I don't it's know? It's really easy to tell that. So yeah. anyway... When, Why? Because I'm against killing animals. If, if you become, if you became a, a born-again Christian, then you would know what I'm, I'm saying. You wouldn't speak the way you speak about that. You would have this fear and reverence for Christ. You wouldn't be this nonchalant attitude to the Bible, for example. That wouldn't be there. Well, yeah, so, no, I don't trust so books written by men, yeah, so 100%. I, I understand. That. I but mean, that's how I know you're not a Because believer. there's trickery everywhere. There's <laughs> yes. trickery everywhere. There is, but, the, but Christ said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. He said, He's the truth. Christ, Christ is Christ the truth. Christ can come and show me, not a book from yeah. you. Okay, well, pray for yeah. that. So pray for that. Pray that Christ. Well, I would shows rather me. Christ show me. Wouldn't yeah. you rather Christ yeah. come and show you instead of reading a book written by man? Well, Christ did. Just, 
And so I know him okay, personally. Okay, well, there you go. So well, then you trust so, that over that. So can I leave that with yeah. you to pray to Christ and ask him to show himself to okay. you? Can I at least do, ask okay. you to do that? Yeah, I'll okay. do that. Right. No worries. We'll do that. Can right. I ask you not to cut off innocent animals' heads or pay for them to be in gas chambers so you can have a sandwich? I will f obey Christ. Okay. Yeah. Well, I will here, here obey you go. Christ. Fish and, feel pain is a little it, bit of... And, and, God God made fish to feel pain. And fit, all animals are designed to feel pain, that's true. And that, so we shouldn't cause it to them. And, and I explain why. And, and this is this is why fish feel pain when fish eat fish. Animals are uh, red in tooth and claw, as I explained. This is what a fallen creation. This is why animals are nasty to animals. That's what, when you look at animals attacking other animals, it's not nice. It's not how it was designed. See humans attacking other humans yeah, as well. Of course. Oh, absolutely. I, don't, I just don't participate in it when I see something I don't like. And, and abortion's right on the top of the list. So all of that is an abomination to God, absolutely. But death will get swallowed up in the end. Until that day, death's still going to occur. And nature is still going to be a corrupted creation. It's still going to be a mess. There is death that's out of my control. And if there's death that's in my control, I'll try not to cause it. Your own, you know I mean? your own death is actually outside of your control, and that's the end of our chance to find Christ. So please seek him while you still can, while you're still alive. You and I don't know if we're uh, dead tomorrow, okay? So, what would it do for you if I found Christ? What would it do for you? What would it do for me? What, would it do, what does it do for you? I, I would rejoice. But what does it do oh, for you? Get any what do you get out of it? Nothing. Do you get Nothing. You don't get out, anything out of it? No. So I would rejoice over that because it means one less person going to Satan. That's what it means. So that's good news. Why do you care because about I hate, me? Because I hate Satan. We're told to love people. We're told to love our enemies even. You We're told to... Yeah, but why don't you love the animals? But I do love the animals. But you I'm love your enemies. Them. Like if I, if I attacked and killed your wife, hmm. you're taught to love me. The animals yeah. didn't do nothing wrong to you, but you cut their heads off. Why? Because I'm allowed to eat animals. I've already explained that. I'm allowed okay. to, but I'm not allowed to cut my okay. wife's head off. Okay, that's fine. Okay, you, so you listen to the book no matter what, even if, yeah. yeah. yeah You'll love me if I'm your enemy because I'm a human yeah, being, yeah. but you hate the animals. No, I don't hate animals. You hate them enough to cut their heads off. You, you're using words I never said. I, I would only cut the head off someone I really hated. Um, yeah, that's what you would do. Yeah. That's right in your own eyes. But I, I never said I hated animals. I actually like animals. I you said I had it animals. I didn't. But you say like that. animals enough to cut their head off? I'm allowed to eat fish. I'm allowed to eat chickens. I'm allowed to eat meat. Are you allowed to eat dogs? Um, the Bible does it say you're allowed to eat dogs? It doesn't say anything about eating dogs. Okay, so I can go and cut that. Uh, so let, let me. There's a dog. There's a dog walking around here somewhere. In your eyes, yeah. in your view through the Bible, mm -hmm. right? In your worldview, mm -hmm. I can go and cut the head off a dog right now and eat him because I'm allowed to. Would you have a problem with that? Honestly, I don't think, look honestly, me in the eyes. Don't lie. There's, there's Would no, you have a problem with me cutting it, uh, a dog's okay. head off and eating them? I answer a question without you interrupting all the time. I'd like you to directly answer me and stop I'm, pussyfooting around the subject. Just say yes or no. I'm trying to build the answer for you. Okay. So you're looking for a yes or no, and I'm trying to build the you're, answer you're, for I, you. I call it like pussyfooting around the issue. Yeah, but it's I'm, either yes or no. But I'm trying to give you the whole foundation behind it all. So yeah. I don't see anything in the Bible that says you can kill a dog. But I don't believe it's correct to kill a dog because you're not going to, unless you were, you know, desperately hungry and you had to you're eat something. You're not desperately something. hungry. You right. kill chickens. Yes. You're not desperately hungry. So, so why can't I kill the dog? Well, I'm interrupting it, you because I want to get the answer from oh, you because you're avoiding it because I know you don't want to tell me it's okay to kill a dog because you've got morals and you've got the Bible. The Bible doesn't say it's wrong to kill a dog. Okay, so I can kill dogs now okay, in your worldview. Okay. okay. Kill no worries. So you're happy for me to abuse and kill dogs, even though I don't now, need now to? Now you're going to say the word torture and all that. But if you, well, if you needed to eat if a dog If I want to kill to a eat, dog, it's I can torture him first if I want to. If you wanted to eat a dog because you were hungry, or let's say, do God it. God put animals here for me to eat, yeah. so I'm going to cut the head off of whatever dog I want, even if someone has that dog there. I won't hurt the human. Well, it depends if it's your dog. If, if it's somebody that belongs to somebody I don't else, care if it belongs to someone else. Well, God said I can eat the animals. But then you're breaking the commandment saying don't steal. And that means you're stealing somebody else's dog and killing it instead of owning the dog first. So that's stealing. Dogs can't be owned. They are sentient and, and, and beings. Well, they can't be owned. Actually, they, animals can be owned. And that's, they can be enslaved and, animals. And the Bible says that you do own animals, like your own sheep or your own cattle. That's that's Old Testament okay. stuff. So it's more of a sin for me to steal someone else's. So it's okay if they're a stray dog or whatever. Or I just breed the dogs in my backyard. That's fine. Well, if you steal somebody's dog and kill it. or If, is, if they're my dog, I can kill them and eat them. Yeah, okay. you could. All right, no worries. Yeah, I wouldn't do it myself, but you could. Why wouldn't you do it? I wouldn't want to. Are you extreme vegan? No, I, okay. I think vegan is very... Okay, I, so I'm going to have a factory uh, farm of dogs, right? Mm. Well, they were vegan in the Garden of Eden, so be careful what you say, that's a sin. No, they were no, vegan no. in the Garden of Eden. Well, Adam and Eve were vegan before they sinned, but so 
but so, I explained to you why yeah. we cannot go back to that. No, but you just said vegan's weird, but vegan, that's where you, that's where you, God created the perfect people as vegan. Vegan says you can't have milk. God right? created the, the perfect people as vegan. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not convinced of that. I'll explain why. You think, uh, now, vegan is including milk, is that right? Milk not milk? from a cow. You can, can you have milk? We don't drink milk from cows. No, vegans can't have milk, is that correct? It's not that we can't. We can. We can do whatever we want, but we choose not to. Whereas they would have had milk, okay? Cause they had Adam and Eve? Yeah, because they had cows. They had cows? Yeah. What do you mean? They, they, they only had fruits, pulses, grains? Thanks, guys. Are you waiting to chat, or are you just... <laughs> Just watching. No, Thank you. I appreciate that. They have animals as well because. They but they didn't have milk. They didn't eat milk. They they only ate fruits and grains and no, herbs no, and no, things they like had this. Because Abel had um, animals and Cain didn't. Cain offered a, sa a sacrifice of plants and that was not acceptable to God. Whereas Abel uh, offered a sacrifice of an animal. Yeah. So they had animals. Yeah, sacrifice, killed an animal yeah, for God, so, to please so that, God. So that means they had animals. Okay. And the reason for the shedding of blood, that's for the remission of sin. The Bible says there's no reckon, so, forgiveness of sin without the yeah. shedding of blood. And that's why there was no choice for the shedding of blood. Of yeah. And then until Christ came and his blood is now shed, therefore we don't have to uh, shed the blood of an animal for a sacrifice anymore. Okay, but you still do. I don't sacrifice them. I eat them. Yeah, you cut their heads off and eat their bodies in it for, for a needless thing. But for I don't sacrifice them. I don't need them as a sacrifice for my... Yeah, you just, you, you just kill them for your own enjoyment, basically. For my own food. Your own enjoyment. For food. Yeah, because you eat plant foods, don't you? You can So you know you can eat plant foods. Yeah, yeah so you basically eat meat because you enjoy it. It's a, yeah. it's a preference of yours. Yeah. Yeah, so you cut animals' heads off for your own enjoyment. Yeah. And that's what animals do to animals too. They cut I don't care what lions do. They're in a survival situation, they have no choice. They have no choice. Lions don't have a choice to eat a vegan burger right now, you do. What choice do lions have in what they eat? I'm look, oh, wait, oh, I'd love to hear this one. No, I mean wild lions, bro. I'm not talking about captive lions who have a refrigerator. A wild, no, 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 you're not. Wild lions, what choice do they have in what they eat? You won't let me answer Yeah, because I don't want you to tell me your whole story. It's a very quick, quick answer. Well, if you don't want me to answer it, I won't. No. They don't have a choice, that's the answer. No, that's not They have antelope or antelope. But you have a choice of plant foods or cutting animals' heads off. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. But you still choose to cut the animals' heads off. Because you're allowed to. Because God knows more than you and me. Because God said it's okay, but I can also cut off a dog's head because God said it, I'm allowed to. So when I see a dog or that seagull there, I can cut the seagull's head off in your worldview, and that's totally fine if I want to, if I prefer seagull sandwich. And I think that that's immoral, and my conscience says it's wrong. Well, you do. Yeah. What about the killing of unborn babies? Well, I don't kill unborn babies, but. I think that's a far greater problem. What, what, and we kill uh, 45 million babies every year. Okay. What's that got to do with eating animals? Well, babies are worth far more than animals. Well, what, but what has that got to do with the topic of cutting animals' heads off to eat them? Well, I'm wondering what your concern might be about it. Yeah, but d what, why would that change the fact that I think eating animals is immoral? Because it's so much more immoral than animal killing. What'd you say? Be a Bless you, my friend. So here we are. It's come to the end of the coastal sea spiracy sea animal rights campaign we've been doing across Australia. And here we are at the front of the Surface Paradise sign. I believe it went pretty good. We got some good stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I'm pretty tired, so got to head back, try to get this stuff up. But yes, check out Seaspiracy. And um, we'll leave all the pamphlets, you know, all the links to the pamphlets down below. You know, please stop abusing sea animals. Please stop abusing the animals. Be vegan and just help us out. Try to change things. Let's do it.
Asian grocers are like the secret to getting the best mock meat if you can find it. We need to take this and whip it up on the beach. Joey cooking style. Look at that! <laughs> mm. Mm.